Hey there folks, this is GooniXI, welcoming you back to Let's Play Killer 7, this is episode 2. I made a bit of a mistake in the last episode saying that I couldn't figure out um, where to use the serum that we made in this blood bank and the TV. You actually don't just have to press left and right to go to it and that's don't stupid of me, me but there we go. Don't make me say it again. I'm a cleaner. What we want to do, we can't upgrade Garson, he is the 7th one that we cannot select. We won't be using him like we use the other 6 characters, not in this playthrough. Once you complete the game then you can go through a second time and use Garson more as a normal character, but not now. I think you can anyway, or is that a different one? Never mind, never mind, ignore that. Wait here. So, who are we gonna upgrade, folks? Okay, I, I think, think. <laughs> we haven't got Kevin yet. In each level, Blair. you wanna have all the characters to start with, you have to wake them up through the TV. Anyway. Blair. Blair. I do quite like using Korn mm. and Kade. They I've don't have the most health out of a lot of them, but they have the most... Men. I think they they're easier to use in general, you know? Skills, more uh, gun power, so you'll do more damage with each shot. Faster attacking, like it says on the bottom, attack speed. Waver, so it moves less. Target locked. Um, I think that's so that when you're aiming, it'll sort of move about less, the target will. And critical, so you do more critical hits. I think, as well as our select, our select is just to choose the character. More power for her, I think. Snipers need to have quite a lot of power, don't they, to make it useful. They're, they're slow attacking, more useful. And... Down attack, what did that do? Let's have a look. She has learnt down attack, which finishes off a heaven smile crawling... Oh, this is what I was talking in the last episode. If the enemy gets close enough, which is especially good for a sniper, then they will just kill them off, so they're not reloading. we got another one serum to use, and I think I want to use it on Dan, because he has... Um, he has to be used sometimes to kill off those egg incubating things. Duplicators, I think they're called, so let's get the power up a bit, and there we go. Now, I think the Heaven Smiles are back, and the Camellia Smiles, or whatever they're called. <laughs> Shit, I always do Because he's got more power now, do you see how much faster he was to kill the... Uh, that enemy then? Well, yeah. He did. <laughs> Hey, new enemy incoming, the Micro Smile. These fly about, as you can see, there's nothing more to say about them. Bit harder to hit because they fly about so much. Shit, that was right on it then. I'm s I'm sh I swear I was. <laughs> there they go. Now, where's the flying guy? <laughs> Heard some laughter. There we go. Double, because it's yellow enemy, you get more blood and stuff back. Oh, cutscene. Uh, come on. You gotta help me. I just like to say now that every level has a completely different sort of theme to it. Different. This is just the obvious stuck in a building sort of theme. Shit, where is it? There it is. But the other ones will be much brighter or much more... Just much more different in general. Right, we're gonna talk to this guy. He's a new character again. Like all times, eh? Tell me, how's old Smith? <laughs> we're all Smith. What are you talking about? Things going good with Mills, no? Christopher Miller. That old Smith, not much of a successor. But good man, yes. Thank you, much gratitude. <laughs> it seems like he's talking in riddles, but once you've finished the game once, you sort of pick up on all this on your second playthrough and sort of realise what's what he's talking about in general. I checked the candlesticks. This is a clue that we'll need for a puzzle. A strange design indeed. It's hidden here. The order is hidden here. You want to know more? I do. I do want to know more. Then use this mask. 
Okay, so you give him some thin blood. Another use for the thin blood. Shoot the mask and the mask will tell you. And you get some more info out of him. But watch out, this mask lusts for blood. I hope it's thin blood anyway, I'm not sure myself. Thicker blood. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Demons lust for blood, yes? If you're brave, shoot the mask. I think I'll do it anyway this time just to show you how to do it. It'll tell you everything. Oh, I know. I have to keep... That's one thing about this game. It does sort of repeat itself a lot and I guess a bit annoying after a while. It's interesting to see, to hear it all the first time, but... Okay, he's got a mask on now because we shot it. Give him the blood like I just showed. You are the worthless loser. What a pitiful existence. I am the true mask. And I shall guide you. Okay. I wish I could press A and skip through it a bit. The ring of fire. I think I remember where that is. And numbers shown on the candlesticks. From 1 to 5. It's a pretty easy puzzle. I just wanted to show you how to do this. Follow the order and ignite the flames. Tomorrow it could be you. Okay, I'll skip the rest. Just press start. What I'm going to do first is go in room 212 and see exactly what we're dealing with right now. The candle, like it said. If we had the flame ring, we could do it now. And it shows the order on the numbers on the candlesticks. It's, it's not hard exactly, is it? What we need to do first is something else we can check. The air conditioner. Air conditioning unit shut off. Hold on, that needs to be put on. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so you turn it on. That'll help somewhere else. We do need to do that. Not yet, though. We'll be coming back to this room to sort out the candles later. Oh, 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 he's back. Hold on. Keep upgrading, and when you press B to lock onto the enemy, at some point you'll um, unlock an ability so that it locks onto the weak point instead of just locking onto the enemy's sort of stomach. It suddenly disappeared. We'll be seeing him quite a lot as well. A white fl light flashed before me. Everything is transparent. So I held his hand. Whose hand was it? Then before I knew it, I was lost. All alone again. Please help me. I can't see a thing. Someone killed him. When he held his hand. <laughs> we'll be getting some more info about that later. Third floor stairs. Yep. I don't know if we need to come this way quite yet, but we will do. We'll have a look anyway and see. We're in a tight spot. I oh, know. Major tight spot. He's here. Yes, him. Master, you can't. You're going to go and kill him? This is the boss of this place we're going to go and kill. The one we came to assassinate. You're a fool. An encourage incorrigible fool. Not incorrigible. Incorrigible. <laughs> Impossible. You're sure to fail. You know nothing of his strength. Oh, stupid, stupid master. Don't call us stupid. That mill's really fooled you. In the name of the fool. Harmon is now a fool. Whoever Harmon is. <laughs> we'll go this way first for a uh, pigeon. These will give us some notes about what we're doing, um, what's going on in the general universe of Killer7. Dear Ema, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, and many thanks for choosing me for the job. My name is Johnny Gagnon, otherwise known as Speedster. Speedster. Our machine gun guy, this is his real name. Con? Yeah, I think his name is Con. I get excited when I slit a guy's throat. I know that may be sick, but I do the best work in town. This is a report on the job. I'm sure you'll like what I have to say. I watch them like a hawk, so I think a hefty reward's in order. There's seven in the Smith Syndicate, that's us. Dan Smith, who uses a large caliber revolver. Kaede Smith, who uses a large automatic rifle. Con Smith, who uses two full auto pistols. Masked Smith, who uses grenades. Kevin Smith, who uses knives. Coyote Smith, who uses a modified gun. And Garshan Smith, who uses a small pistol. Garshan Smith being the black guy from the opening, who we can't see anything about. 
they are an armed force that rivals a small army. You don't want to be on their bad side. In conclusion, it's the interest of the United States to keep them around. There's no telling when they might come in handy. I'll be contacting you again, Johnny Gagman. There we go, that's all that was all about. And we can read it again whenever we want. Anyways, let's carry on. Harmon's room. We'll go back for that um, on the way back down, because we will be coming back. Oop. No! Shit, 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 shit. Oh, all at once. All three of them. So you start off and your characters are just so weak, it's quite difficult. It is a hard game, in general. Where do we end up now, anyway? <laughs> oh dear. Seem to have lost his head. Oh, we lose Dan, actually. I remember how this all works now. Don't make me Kay. say it again. Who we can use now instead. I've changed my make look, Don't make me look. I'm a cleaner. I've changed my... I think, because we upgraded Kaede, we'll go for her. Did you notice? I do apologise if I'm mucking that name up every time I say it, by the way. It won't surprise me. I think we've ended up in the last Harmon's room we were at. We should have... Yeah, back here. But don't worry too much about that, because... Because... We shall... There we go, I see a built the shin up. I don't know what I was going to say, to be honest. <laughs> we cover her health, we use the test tube every time, and that's it at full. So we use two test tubes to get it up to full. But now anyway, I can show you a different direction. We should be by the masked guy again. Here we go, you have to get there really quick. They do give you quite a bit of blood, so... Oh, we missed out on that Travis. That would have been a shame. <laughs> Let's talk serious for a second. Heaven smile, they're holy warriors. Shit, ain't that pretty wicked? No. Warriors who fight with a holy will on their side. And use death as a weapon. They target the very dignity of the country itself. But why should you understand the meaning? Shit, you're a killer after all. Hmm. Surely they're killers as well. Anyways, I think the less said about that. I'm definitely not someone who agrees with half the crap in this game to do with the terrorists. I just like the game for the general atmosphere and the gameplay. And I think Capcom were really gutsy to to bring this about, this game about in general. Because it offends so many people, you can tell, you can just tell that it's going to offend them as soon as you start playing it. But I think that's what make it, makes it so that it stands out a lot. Definitely, definitely does. Anyway, that door back there. We saw there was a lock from the other side, so we can't do anything about that right now. I think what we'll do is go into Harmon's room this time. <laughs> Just as a checkpoint, if nothing else. She's still not working, so we can't save. It's been a while, isn't it? So let's go to the TV. See if we can get any more blood. I don't know if when a character dies, you lose some of your blood. I'm not too sure. Can I skip this? No? Okay. We'll just have to wait for it to all go down. When it gets to 10, it turns into like one big serum. Anyway. Oh, shit. I think now we'll upgrade... Uh, Con a little bit, because he is really useful. Can we revive him? How do you revive him? I wish I could remember. Oh, oh, oh. Kevin is awake now, 
so we can use his knifey ways. He's really stealthy and sneaks up on the enemies and stabs them, slits their throat. As opposed to Max, Max T. Smith, who is pretty much the complete opposite and uses rocket launchers. And, yeah. Down attack. More power again. So, now he should actually be pretty useful. As opposed to when we first used him and he was just too powerless to be of any use. Anyway, I would... Yeah, I should cut it here. It's been 15 minutes. So, this has been Greeny XI. I hope you've enjoyed. We're not making huge amounts of progress, but for now, I'm sort of explaining their abilities and things a lot. So, the progress will come once I've explained all that and gone out gotten it all out of the way, you know? I hope you're looking forward to what's coming because this place... <laughs> it's interesting to say the least. This whole game is so intriguing you just have to keep watching and playing. And that's why I find it anyway. Anyways, this has been Goonie XI. I hope you enjoyed. See you again in a bit when maybe we'll reach the next save point. You never know. <laughs> in a bit.